Hi everyone, hope you're well. It's Christine here. I'm going to show you a, another little project using book pages and this is one that I made just to give you a bit of an idea while I walk through the steps. So it's just using two book pages. Um, I've got two different sizes here so I can work with you through that. Um, and then it's just a matter of folding um, doing some side pockets there, a side pocket here, that pocket there just by adding that in, and then a back pocket as well. So again that tag in the back was a book page that I've just added a bit of tea dye paper to so that you, it's got a writing spot there and this paper is just um, packing paper that I got in a delivery so I always look at what hap what comes into the house and just see whether I can uh, continue using it and upcycle it so so this is what I'm going to show you how to make um, with this one I left the torn edges as I tore it out of the book I've left that edge um, but you can make them so that they're very neat um, just depends on the style now to me, this is another project too that you can make bulk of. So this is an example. You can um, make several and so they're ready to just color, add color and tags to when, when you're ready to use them. So, so again, this is exactly like this one. You've got your side pocket. I haven't put that pocket in because again, it could be something that you might not want a pocket there and you just put um, just like a little notepad um, stapled in there. Um, so that's another idea and another side pocket there. And that, as that closes up, then you've got the back pocket there. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make it with this size to start off with. And then I'll make it with the smaller size um, book page. So, and it's quite easy. Um, it's just a matter of what you want in it. Um, I really do like these side pockets. So I sort of do that to the size that I want. like that and then this back page is a little bit shorter um, because I want to be able to do the notch and fit a card in and not be right flush to that edge so I sort of make it to about there so just folding that like that and then this one, you'll actually stick that page there. But again, because that back pocket is going to be set back, we just make this piece of paper, fold it here as a template, like that. And that gives you your width that you need. Let me just show you. So that'll be like that. So it's going to be that size. It'll come together. Um, just bear with me. <laughs> so once we've got that side there like that, then we just fold this side pocket over to the size that you want. And then that comes inside, that comes in there, and then that's your back pocket. So once I start putting, I'll make two, so don't worry, I'll make two. So we're going to just notch this one so you can see that that's the back pocket on the very back. And what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and start gluing and you'll see it come together. And then um, 
it'll be all right. So that's the inside front cover pocket, just like that. And I'll just do this pocket. So this is the center page front pocket or side pocket, sorry. Like that. And now because this is the back pocket, we're actually gonna glue around this one instead of the back page and you'll understand why, because this gives you the correct places to glue. And as you hold up this front page, it gives you that crease in there and you just line those pages up. Like that. And just press those down. And that goes like that and that goes like that. And then that's your back pocket. So I'm just going to cut and trim the top so that it's all straight. And if you need to do a bit of touch up gluing, you can do that as well. If you've cut there, just check that top pocket. Because I did glue just below. Yeah, that's all good. So if I ink, you'll see it all come together. So I'm using the chestnut ink, which is I, I use on all my inking. Um, I just find it's a prettier colour and gives a, a good vintage look. So you just ink everything. Um, that's if you want to. You don't have to ink. You can leave it. Just ink. What you can do too, if you wish, um, is ink it all before gluing it together. So this will get rid of a few more um, pages, book pages that you might have in your stash. And I have plenty. So that's all done, that section. So this is the very back. So that's the back inked. This is the inside page. That's that, that's that, that's all inked. And that's the front. And that's the back so so I'll just turn them over together so you can definitely see that that's what we've done so um, I haven't rounded the corners as you can see where I have on this one so we turn that over that's the side pocket then we turn that over
this is the pocket here. I just haven't put a pocket here like this one. But that's up to you. You can do a pocket there. You can do a bundle with a pocket and then a bundle with a small notepad. So I might do a small notepad for this one just so that you can see. So this, I love this paper. I um, tea dyed this pink paper. So it's just normal pink copy paper. And then I tea dyed it. And it's just come out so nice. Actually, I'll just use that. So you can use as many papers as, as you like. So you can actually sew that, that in there. So just be aware of your back pocket. And you can even just staple that as a little notepad. So let's just imagine that sta um, stapled in because I haven't got my staple stapler here. So then we fold that over. Um, so this is on this section here. And then you keep folding over and there's your back pocket. And that's the back pocket here. Just like that. So it is fun and it's, it is an easy project. So, um, and you can add all sorts of things into them. Not only tags or journaling cards, but um, little notepads as well. So even if you did a notepad that's just um, very neutral papers, um, like tea dyed papers, then definitely you can add your own colour when you're ready to put, add it into a journal. So that's that so let me just so these are some that I've made so that's what it looks like and then that's what the back looks like like that like that and then that's the back pocket So, and I've got a little bundle happening here because this is actually something that I can sit down in front of a movie and just do it, um, make a bundle of them and add whatever I want to them later. So let's try this smaller page. Now this is a bit more of a delicate page. I can feel that it's quite, they're very old. So we want to do a side here and then the back we want to about that low down so that's going to be your back pocket remember so I'll put the notch in there now just so that we know okay so then we open it up then we place this one in that crease between the front and that back pocket okay so we just pull that over then we fold this on top purely as a guide of how big we want that page because remember we want that gap between the edge and that pocket so that's purely a guide so we fold it over the front cover we put that second page in and we use that as our final edge then we can open it back up and this is our our middle page 
And again, we just want a pocket, so you just fold it over to the size that you want. And that's it. So let's glue these pockets down. And just glue the side pockets down first. And then from that center fold, we just glue around this back pocket because then we're going to add that second page on top of it. And if you're not sure, just sit, it, sit the front cover up like that and then poke that into that fold. And then put some weight on it. And that is the final little booklet. So front cover, side pocket. Let me just grab those. Oh, these are a bit big. I'll have to grab this size. It's a bit more. Okay, so that's the front po inside pocket. That's the front cover. That's that other page that folds in like that. That's that little side pocket and then this is the back it's going to be too big and that's the back pocket so we can make some tags so I've got some 160 GSM card paper that I tea dyed so we can make some little tags. One there. Just do a seven mil round corner. And go there. This tag probably about that deep. And that can go in there. Now I've got this so this is just tea dyed paper I'm just going to use this as um, a pocket just going to do some little tiny flaps and it won't get caught up in the um, folds So it's a matter of just cutting off those corners and you'll see the flaps in a minute when I open it all up and show you. Those tiny little flaps, like that. So, and we can do this. Just 
ink around there. Okay, so now I can glue that. Like that. Now, again, just want to center that in there between the two folds. And can I put in there to show you so that folds over there and then the back pocket you can make a tag so as you can see depending on the size of the book page as to what light tags or journaling cards you'll need to put in so he can go quite deep so. Sometimes they um, that when you put it in, it will fold up and then it does a funny corner. So hopefully this works. Yeah, it's better. So that can go in the back there. So that's quite a deep pocket. So that. Now, what can I decorate it with? Oh, okay. So, so I made some of these. This sheet of um, flower cards is actually, I'll put a link, it's in my Etsy shop. So I'll put a link in, dis in the description box. And this mini, this is another one of the flower cards, and this um, mini floral is also in my Etsy shop. I bought a new um, heart punch, so I've been playing around with it. And, and I love the use of hand towel. It's um, just really softens. Softens the edges. Let's see how much we need. See how we go with this. Let's put 
this down first. So I'll just try and get it right around the edges. see what we can do with this. Have it straight or on an angle. That's really nice. It's quite amazing when I watch um, YouTube videos and just how different all our tastes are on, and our thoughts are when we're crafting and there's really no right or wrong at all. So front cover, inside front cover, side pocket. So we can put something there. Like in this one, I did this with a paper dress that I made. So um, I'll link that tutorial um, in the description as well. So there's this side pocket, then this pocket. And close that. And then there's a pocket on the back. So that shows you the two, two sizes. This is the same paper as that, so it's the same size. And on this one, I've actually added a spine cover as well. So it's quite a difference. So you could even go smaller. You could make little ones as well which I'll probably do over time when I need a little one for um, journals, depending on what I'm making. So I'm going to leave that there. So I've got my bundle started. So I've got plenty of book pages that I can continue adding and um, to. So... And because they're so neutral, once you're ready to add them into a journal, you can decorate them into the colours that suit the journal. And that is so good. And you can even do that with tea dyed um, the journal cards as well. You know, you can make up a bundle of these, get them inked out, and then they're actually ready for you. So... That looks really good. I just love the effect of the hand towel. It just softens it a bit. So, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.